Hello and welcome to my lab. Ever since we 3D printed the stencils for that car we did earlier, I've been playing around with the idea. You know those little islands in your design sometimes? Like this one here? And you have to make a bridge to connect them and sometimes that ruins your design? I figured as long as we're using a 3D printer, we can make bridges in the third dimension, like this. So that should allow this to be held on quite tightly but not get in the way and did ruin your entire design. This is for the uh, Bowers Lab logo, which I'm gonna put on the printer here because this is way too bare and boring. So let me get out my airbrush and let's do it. All right, there we go. Now that's off my list of things to do. Notice the nice sharp lines and uh, circles that are unbroken by the bridges that you would normally have on a stencil. That doesn't really do a great job of showing what I'm talking about, so let's try something different. Like this bit of artistic genius. It took me ages to come up with this design with all of its intricacies and, and detail and deep intellectual meaning and if if there were bridges across these gaps it would it would destroy everything so let's make some three-dimensional bridges so that we can maintain this inspired piece of art stuff yeah let's let's just use this this should do a good job of demonstrating exactly what we're looking for and there's islands upon islands which you wouldn't normally be able to do with a stencil so I'm just gonna try like a, an X pattern kind of bridge that bridges over top of everything, uh, just because I'm still experimenting here. So we'll see how this works. There, that looks pretty good. I should still be able to get paint in those slots there, I hope, anyway. So let's just print it and see how it works out. I'm just gonna tape it to this piece of paper and we'll see how it goes. Behold my masterpiece. It's a bit of a mess because I worked too quickly, but uh, the stencil itself is pretty handy. So if you uh, have a 3D printer and you like to paint, uh, try making stencils with it. It's pretty useful. And with that, um, we'll see you next time.